Hey YouTube, got another video review for you today. Uh, this one is from a company by the name of T-Top Lights. I'm sure all you guys have seen all these cars going down the road that has underglow top lighting up underneath and uh, just lights the road up a little bit. You know, it's just a, you know, a, a cool thing, you know, a styling thing, you know, and, uh, but for me, I thought, you know what, why couldn't I put that under the bottom of my kayak trailer and use it as you know as a light you know to look cool but also provide some light when you're you know uh backing your your kayak trailer down the the boat ramp and you get out it gives you a little bit of light uh so you don't step on a snake or step in goose crap or none of that so i thought hey i'm gonna uh, get me some lights and put up underneath the trailer just wanted to show you what i'm working with all right guys i'm back here in the kitchen and uh, I've got these uh, LED light strips laid out here on the table. Just wanted to run through some of the features and uh, let you know where these guys come from. From ttoplights.com and you'll want to contact a Stuart Smith. There's all of his contact information right there and uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can check them out. These come in different lengths all the way up to uh, 40 inches and th those are the ones that I, I chose and i uh, just wanted to run you through and and tell you i got these in a two pack uh, i chose the color red but they come in several different colors let's see they come in a blue green red warm white and a cool white they come in uh increments of 10 inches so uh like i said these are the 40 inch ones these use uh 14.4 watts per bar so you know a total of 28 watts 29 watts i'm sorry and uh anyways it's a uh, 1.2 amps per per bar uh, the cost for both uh, of these strips was uh, $37.95. And I'll just be honest with you, the reason that I chose these was because here on the back, they have this uh, 3M double-sided tape, so they're easy to mount. And then they also have this little plastic piece where you could put a, a screw in right there and mount them. And then on the other end, it's got this little bracket and a screw. If it'll phone, it'll zoom in for me. But uh, anyways, you can mount them with the tape or the screws. Uh, but for me, I'm going to use them, use the tape. And then I figured uh, since the floor of my trailer is mesh, I could use some zip ties to secure them in the middle. And uh, that should hold up. Uh, they are marine grade. They come um, with an aluminum housing. You can see right here on the side, that's all aluminum. The sides and the back. And the LED strip is uh, it's encased in uh, silicone. And then right here on the top, um, you've got a, uh, a clear cover that goes over the, the top of it to protect it. Now, they are waterproof, but they're not submergible. So you cannot back your trailer down into the water. Now, he does, he does sell some uh, similar to these that are submergible. Uh, where you can back the trailer right down into the water. So, you know, these won't work for a boat trailer, but my trailer, I just never, I never put mine in the water. I just back it close to the water or wheel my kayaks down with a cart. So I don't have to worry about that. I just figured these would work out really great uh, because they're rigid and they're in that little aluminum housing and they would be easy to mount. So that's why I chose these. So uh, they have a 30,000 uh, hour lifespan. Uh, you can get them with a clear lens or a frosted lens. These are, these are our clear lens. That's pretty much um, all there is to tell about these. I'll give you their phone number. It's 1-866-283-8757. Uh, some of the things that, that might be useful to you uh, whenever you're wiring these up. Uh, me personally, uh, I just went to Walmart and got some 16 gauge and I had some uh, marine grade heat shrink tubing and I like the marine grade from uh, Harbor Freight. It's got the uh, adhesive in the middle of the tubing so when you when you melt it um, there's a glue that comes out uh, on each end of the wire so it just seals it up and makes it waterproof so I really like using the, uh, the marine grade tubing. I think it works the best. You can use the butt connectors if you want or you can use the, these uh, 3M uh, butt connectors, but I'll show you the difference. Uh, these are the ones with the uh, insulation already on, and they have heat shrink tubing on the ends, and you can you can melt that with a cigarette lighter, or you can do these little 3M butt connectors, and uh, you just slide the wire on 
in on each side and then put a piece of heat shrink tubing over the top of it. So, you know, there's several different options uh, to go with and uh, you can use these, uh, these little wire taps if you want to uh, hook into the uh, clearance lights. That's probably gonna be the easiest way uh, because uh, these lights will be on all the time unless you wire in a switch. So, you know, every time your, your trailer clearance lights are on, then um, these lights will be on as well. So unless like you do like I just said and, and put a switch in there, they're always gonna be constantly on. So just remember that. And uh, also be weary of uh, what color you choose because I know some states are kind of picky about the color of the lights. I'm um, here in Tennessee. I think the only color that I that they have a problem with is blue. So, um, you know, I'm I'm not sure of that, but I, I'm pretty sure that remember when I uh, researched it, uh, blue was one of the colors that they they weren't very uh, happy about. So, anyways, it is what it is. So I I chose red, and uh, my truck's red, and so I figured I, that's what I would go with. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get out here and get these wired up.